What's up everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm taking a look at one from Dogfish Head. This is the Sequench Ale. So I've been looking forward to trying this one. Finally decided to pick it up. And this is actually a sour session ale. And it's a mix of three different styles. So kind of unique in that regard. It's a mix of a Kolsch, a Goza, and then a Berliner Weiss. All three styles are fermented together. Comes in at an ABV of 4.9%, 10 IBU. Talks about it's a mix here of uh, lime, uh, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt so it should be kind of interesting they actually did it in partnership with the national aquarium so uh looking forward to seeing how this one actually goes down let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer All right, got it all there in the glass, and there's the bottle, so you can check that out. But a nice, pretty much straw color. It's got a little bit of a chill haze, it looks like, on there. A lot of good bubble action. I can pick up some of the live streaming of those bubbles up to the head, which actually faded pretty quickly, as you can see there. Came out with the under a quarter of a finger, but it's already gone. Not uncommon for these type of styles to have that happen pretty quickly. Get a light behind it and get a little bit more illumination lights up into that nice golden straw color have a nice amount of that salty feel a nice amount of that lime peel coming right out of the glass not having to sniff really hard really comes out of here without really any effort at all almost has a smell that's reminiscent if you were sitting there on the beach at the ocean nice presence again of that fruitiness of the limes you can get that idea that it's gonna have that nice tartness to it. You're really picking that good sense of it also out of it. So, you know, with the Berliner Weiss and with a uh, Goza, you're kind of used to that. Sometimes Kolsch's pretty, uh, will have it as well, but not all the time, but those other two styles are really showing themselves. As far as the taste, nice refreshing quality. Good amount of astringency there. You do get that nice tartness where you get that pucker sensation but I'm getting that light body feel of it. Not heavy at all. An easy beer you could throw down without any issue on a warmer type day. So here in summer, can be a nice summer treat. Not feeling over carbonated at all. It's leaving that nice taste of the salt behind. You can really feel that on the, on the tongue. No bitterness really in there to speak of at all. Again, we're at a 10 IBU, so we're not expecting that to be the case here. But it's got a nice duration of the flavor still sticking around. Um, another one here would be great with some saltier type foods to really mash that up if you were gonna pair this beer. But I like it overall so far. If you're a sour fan, you've probably had this. If not, you can probably pick it up somewhere. Nice one to have, to have a little bit of a break in there. Like I said, it really is at a session level at the 4.9 ABV, so not overly anything in there as far as too heavy at all. Nice lightness to it. And just sitting here talking can still feel, again, the salt on the tongue very nicely. You do get that fruity flavor in there from the limes. Has a nice lime feel to it. Not much really jumps out outside of that. So, I mean, on here, they make mention really just of the lime and the sea salt. And that's really what you're kind of picking up. Nothing else really too much there. I've never had actual, I don't think black limes before, but they do taste like regular limes. Really pleasant, really easy drinking. Like I said, on a hot day, this is something with that great refreshing quality that you can just uh, pound a few of these back and just relax and not really get weighed down by it. So yeah, a nice beer from Dogfish Head. Again, this is the Sequench Ale. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comments section. If you're not big into sours, you might even be okay to try this one a little bit because um, it's not overly tart like some of the other ones are out there. Kind of like a now and later, again, type feel with this one, but not as much as like I say a sweet tart. Um, good flavor overall so there you have it thanks for swinging by to check out another video i look forward to catching the next one i'm going to finish this one and who knows maybe do another keep drinking good craft beers cheers